Well, all right, you guys. This is going to be a short video. <laughs> You've heard me say that before, but this will be one. Um, I want to call your attention. We've talked about it many times to um, Jin Medical International. The symbol is, let me write it down. The symbol is ZJYL. 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 Zen Medical International. I'm not telling you this should be your rock of ages or anything. This is just a trading idea. But let's quickly go through it. Um, here's the chart. The stock went up to like 500 or some number recently and then has, you know, pulled back, rallied, and then uh, here, I mean, this this line is next to meaningless, but it's kind of pulled back maybe into a buying area, but it's not gonna matter. A chart's not gonna matter. Uh, um, the the uh, 50 day moving average is at 58.29, it looks like but I don't know that you're, it already, I don't know if you can see that. It touched, almost touched it right there. Almost touched it. I'm not sure it's gonna do that again. Anyway, that's, the, and there's the symbol, Z-J-Y-L. Okay, so what happened to make, cause me to make this is they've announced they're gonna do their, well, they first have to have a vote. It's too late to, buy shares as as a voter for this. It's not too late to buy shares to experience it. But um, let me see what, if it says the, here it is. Holders of record of the company's ordinary shares at the close of business on January 12th will be entitled to notice of and to vote at this meeting. And so the meeting Jin Medical International is going to have, it's going to be held at 9.30 a.m. Beijing time on January 30, which is 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, New York City. Um, this notices furnished in connection with the solicitation of proxies by the board of directors. By way of resolution, they're gonna subdivide each of the issued and unissued ordinary shares into 20 shares. So for every one share you own, there'll be 20. This is called a forward split. And I don't know, I, I don't know another, I'm sure someone else has done it, but I don't, in my memory recently, have one that has done it. The key here is to catch out the shorts. Now, um, if, if you were short this stock, you would probably have to have, uh, you would probably have to leave all the money you receive from the sale in your account until you close the position. But you might also have, they might also require, because of its volatility, additional equity. The stock's $80. Let's say that you needed $20 additionally in your account for that, for that uh, maintenance requirement. It's gonna be hard to create a calculation. I believe the criminal side, the, the, the uh, institutionalized, uh, it's like a, a modern factory. And the United States is a factory for naked shorting. And it's all approved at the highest levels. But anyway, just to try to use that example, it, it won't work. But let's say it's $20 a share that you have to keep 
extra in your account for one share, all of a sudden you got 20 shares. So you have to maintain that amount for 20 shares. It's not a perfect analogy. You're gonna say, well, wouldn't you divide it by 20? Maybe, wouldn't, wouldn't it be less? Maybe. The point is you're gonna, the, the uh, criminals are suddenly going to have, instead of one share naked short or counterfeited, they're gonna have 20. And this is going to put pressure on the back offices. Now the back offices, as we know, may just go along with it. Well, we'll just say to everyone, they just have those shares in their account, no one will notice. Okay, let's get to the next part of the story. There are 7.6 million shares outstanding, right here. And there's a float of 1.3 million shares. 1.3 million shares. Shares outstanding are 7.8 million, sorry, my that's my eyesight. And it has an implied uh, shares outstanding of 12.5. But the float is 1.3 million shares. The float is 1.3 million shares. The percentage held by insiders is 83%. I'm going from the information I've received from Ham. Um, one group of whale type investors owns 1.3 million shares. They're not the insiders. They're a separate group, 1.3 million shares. So you have the insiders owning 80%. Uh, to be exact, they own 82.81% according to Yahoo, this status from Yahoo Finance. Um, but you have this group of investors who own 1.3 million shares. So what's the real float? I mean, you've technically, you've got to take 80% of the, um, I don't have a calculator, 80% of, here I can do it quickly, 80% of that 1.3 out So one way of looking at it is because the insiders can't trade like you and I can. Let's call it 20% times 1.3 million. You, you might as you might have as low as 250 million. Uh, two, two point, gosh. There's 1.3 million shares. I'm sorry, one, three million shares in the float. And if you multiply it by uh, uh, set, it's, if you there's only 17% of that. 221,000 shares might be the number of the real float. Okay, so here's what's happening. Number one, you're gonna have the vote on this forward split uh, at the end of the month. And everybody should send in their proxy, even if you only have one or two shares. Um, then the this group of whales, they are re requesting, according to him, you've heard it on the calls, they're requesting 500,000 of their 1.3 million shares held. They're requesting those shares be delivered to them. In other words, put in their own name at the DTCC, not street name, not in the electronic system of Wall Street, which defrauds everyone. They're gonna get it in their name. So it's going to reduce the, uh, the float from 1.31 million to 800,000 shares. That, those two issues, those two issues, the vote and then the subs subsequent forward split and this removal of shares from the market, I think could set this up for an explosive out of the blue short. The number I heard was too high to believe, but you're, you're talking 20, 30, $40,000 a share. Who knows? 
Uh, don't, if you buy a little bit, don't hold out for the whole thing unless you realize it might not get there. I mean, it's up to you. Um, I just want to check. Uh, yeah. This does, this data doesn't tell us how much is held at the DTCC. I don't know that answer, but it's, it's, uh, whatever it is, let's, it's going to be reduced five, 500,000. So that's ZJYL closed, I believe at $81 uh, dollars a share. And that could be one of the stories of our lifetime, but it's a punt. It is a complete gamble. Do not go overboard in it. This is not financial advice. It's just educational, but the, the symbol is ZJ, ZJYL. All right, um, I'm gonna try to do a couple more videos today. Cheers.